A Central Iowa family came back from vacation to find their dog had been taken away. Now, Stacy, they left the dog in the care of a trainer. Tonight, KCCI Scott Carpenter investigates what happened to Harrison. This is Harrison. He belongs to the Essary family of Altoona, but right now, they don't know where he is. Amber Essary says they left Harrison with Max Garcia, a trainer from Paws in Effect, which is a nonprofit dog training service in Des Moines. When they came back from a brief Christmas vacation, Garcia told the Essaries that their dog was gone. Saturday when we came back to pick him up, uh, he opened the door and let my daughter know that he didn't have our dog and that it was out of his hands. Their daughter, 16-year-old Abiola Doyeni, depends on her dog Harrison for help with medical complications, anxiety, and depression. According to Amber Essary, without the dog, she has been going to behavior health care frequently and has made multiple trips to the emergency room. This company, Pause and Effect, stole my daughter's service dog. Pause and Effect Executive Director Nicole Shoemate says her dog training service revoked the Essary's adoption of Harrison, citing a Facebook comment where Amber Essary said she may have a two-year-old to rehome. But that comment happened months ago, and the Essary's continued to take Harrison to Pause and Effect for training without issue. Shoemate also claimed the dog was overweight, weighing 101 pounds, unable to get up from a lying position or sit down. It needs assistance to get up on its feet. It cannot sit. Um, it just doesn't have enough space in between its abdomen and its legs to sit. Um, it is struggling to walk on its own. The Essaries dispute their dog was in such condition. Pause and Effect provided no additional video, pictures, or documentation to KCCI regarding Harrison's weight or medical condition. Shoemate claimed the reason her organization was able to revoke the adoption was because of an agreement with Puppies for Parole in Missouri, a program Harrison was once in. There's a partnership between Pause and Effect and Puppies for Parole. And the coordination of our being able to bring dogs in from out of state means we become responsible for that dog's welfare. I reached out to Puppies for Parole and they provided this email saying they have no control over dogs once they're out of their care. Shoemate later claims she exercised a waiver written into Paws and Effect service agreement that allows the nonprofit to confiscate an animal if they feel it needs to be removed from its home due to concerns over its well-being, though she didn't provide us any documentation of a signed agreement. The Estries have hired a lawyer and are pursuing legal action against Paws and Effect they say, according to Iowa law, their dog was stolen. We're really confused about where the dog is, why the dog isn't in our home, and how we will get him back. Trainer Max Garcia is facing a criminal charge for theft in the fifth degree. In a civil suit, Amber Essary is also trying to get compensation from Garcia and another pause and effect employee for possession of property and unlawful retention. I reached out repeatedly to Shoemate over the course of our reporting on this story. She told me that Harrison is now in Wisconsin, that his name has been changed to Shadow, and he's being treated for heartworm. When I asked her if she could directly provide me some proof of life, she responded, nope. Scott Carpenter, KCCI 8 News, Iowa's news leader.